Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Oddles or Oddly if you would prefer and today we're jumping into episode 3 of the Apothecary Diaries. <laughs> I literally don't even know what to say about last episode. Um, last episode was really chaotic. <laughs> Basically got Mam out to become the taster of all the food that goes to the lady she works for um in case in case there's any poisoning because apparently when she was pregnant with her child she got poisoned like twice and because she's a concubine quite a lot of people might try and obviously punish punish her poison her i'm, I'm pretty sure it's a, po a punishment to be poisoned so yes so she became the tester so she got to have all these amazing foods and then she got to actually create things because she was getting very bored not being able to make anything because she's an apothecary. And then she was asked to make an aphrodisiac and she got this massive room full of all these amazing ingredients. I don't know what that was right there. <laughs> and she made chocolate, chocolate, and it is way stronger of an aphrodisiac than um, I recall it being because people have like even a little bit and they are just, all over each other. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that out of the episode, to be honest. A very, very chaotic episode. And this this eunuch really, really wants Mau Mau to like him. And I'm curious as to what's going down with all that, why they're trying to get her to to like him, you know? He called her he called her a pawn. Um, I think it was either last episode or the episode before. And so I'm like what up with that and they also say she can't abuse her knowledge of being an apothecary we don't know what's up with that either i don't think let me know in the comments if i'm wrong i'm not the cleverest person <laughs> there might be things i'm not picking up on but i'm really excited to be jumping into this episode hopefully everyone is over the aphrodisiac stuff <laughs> by now but without further ado let's jump into episode three of the apothecary diaries <laughs> Are they the rhododendrons? A reward? Isn't a, re isn't a reward a good thing? A reward... Is she wanted and there's a reward for her? Or... Is that somebody watching someone sleep? We did see someone at the end of the last episode on the wall. I think that might be them? I'm not sure. Some really scary looking person. Yes, it looks like it. <laughs> Oh my god, some proper grudge level scary. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Since when was this a horror? Oh, if only I was allowed to speak to my dad, Mamao. Oh my gosh, how many times do people try and poison her? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> Everybody thinks she was abused at home and that's why she's got the bandage. It's not. She was doing experiments <laughs> on herself. It was a lady? I'm a very scary looking lady. It's probably that purple haired woman from the first episode. Did you see how gone she got because she was ill? <laughs> mm -hmm. So she's good at solving mysteries too. Oh no, she's just adding to it. Adding to the horrors! He's not keen on us, right? Because we were a serving girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, but now, now he seems to have changed his tune. Now that I'm of use to him. Okay, he makes tea, I forgive. <laughs> oh, no. You had enough chocolate last episode. Mm. There's something sus about him. He wants us for some reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just wants to have tea and food. His tea's gonna go cold. 
Oh, you be all... But who's that terrifying looking? If it was just somebody sleepwalking. <laughs> I love when they go all chibi. <laughs> this is man begging on his knees. Yuck. Man. <laughs> this girl, I love her. <laughs> he hurts his feelings. <laughs> Is he into this? Well, that's terrifying. Is this just... This is just somebody then? Not... Oh, yeah, that's not the creepy looking one, I don't think. Fuyu? Okay, she's just like something straight out of Sailor Moon. She looks like Renee from Yu Mew Power. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's that one from the beginning. Was she kidnapped? Oh, I can't believe they're just literally treating her as a reward like that. So she is she a reward to a military officer? Is that what they were saying? The music again. Tell me. I'm not clever enough. Mm. But what's with, what's with the terrifying looks? Mm, and then she became. Mm. I don't even know what the word was that she used. I've never heard of that before. Haikai wa nakunari mashita no de. Tsumari, sono gijo wa. Honto ni sore de owari ka? So she's not like of wealthy blood or anything. She knows more, I think. Tsuite! Are kara fuyou hi wa gai shitsu kinshi no mei ga dasareta. Oh, so she was forbidden. She didn't, she didn't choose to stay in her room. Is everyone going to gather to watch? Mm. I didn't hear anything. Hokanimo <laughs> Oh, she pretended they're very pretty outfits in this anime, like the, the headdresses, the accessories. How on earth did she figure all of this out? Oh my god, so everything's, all been, everything's all been a ploy? Then what's with the sleepwalking if it's all on purpose? No, please, 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 please. I, I want her to... I want her to get away with this guy. I was so confused by the story then. I get she wants to be with him. I feel like I'm so slow with this show. <laughs> I'm, I'm having to have everything spell out to me. I'm sorry. I can't make for a very good reaction. Please don't be the emperor being like, Hey, I'm uh, interested in you again. <laughs> Why am I going to cry for her? Don't make it too obvious. This is so sweet. This is the cutest thing I've ever witnessed. So she didn't want to say anything because then it would all get like called off. No, oh my god, I wouldn't blame you at all. She gets to run off now and be happy with the guy that she loves. And you're there just to breed children for the emperor. Um, then why was she so scary? <laughs> oh, what's with the creepy grudge like horror? I wish them very happy returns. 
and then a happy life together. I don't know these people, but like, <laughs> they did it. <laughs> they got her out of there. <sighs> it's just a horrible situation that they would be in, and she's managed to get out. That's really lovely. <sighs> I'm so happy for her. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> God, I'm such an over emotional person. I don't think I had a clue of half of what was going on during that episode, but I enjoyed it very much. I want her to get out that same way because she deserves it, but she's also a super character in this show, so. Oh my God, I thought it was going to be about her. Rumored apothecary. I suppose they can't confirm it, but I mean, have you seen the skills? Oh, I'd say she was an apothecary before she was here. They're not gonna like try and sell her off, are they? I swear to God. <laughs> My God. I that she's an amazing character though, so I wouldn't want her, the pink haired lady, <laughs> to get um, sold off to anybody because she wouldn't be in the show anymore. But I want her to be happy. Like, what was her name? For you? I I don't like saying the names because I, I find these ones particularly difficult to remember and pronounce for some reason um <laughs> compared to other animes um very beautiful names that i definitely do not want to butcher but i'm sorry if this episode wasn't particularly interesting to watch i feel like a lot of the time i was just like huh what i, I was trying to get ahead of Mau Mau and be like one step ahead and figure out what's going on but it was actually incredibly hard <laughs> and my brain is fried so there's lots of stuff that i was just like what Huh? Okay. So, it can't have been very fun to watch, but thank you for being here for my journey through the Apothecary Diaries and for joining me for episode 3. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the episode and the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see what happens next. I wonder if there's going to be ones where she actually gets to go out on the field, like actually get to leave the area. Or if they're all, they all take place inside this like rear palace sort of area. Because I don't know what the rest of it's called. There's the rear palace and then what's the other places called? <laughs> but I wonder if she's going to actually get to go outside. And I, I say it every episode, but see her dad again? That poor guy. He's, he looked like he was old enough to be her grandpa. I don't know if maybe he's died out of stress. And wondering what happened to her. Um, so I hope she gets to go to see him soon because he probably doesn't have any clue what's happened to her. I can't believe I cried though. I found this episode so emotional. I'm a very over emotional person and I just thought it was so sweet and beautiful that she, she got to escape and she gets to have the life that she wants with the person that she loves now. Like the, the moment when they just stared at each other and cried and he pulled her close and they were just like, oh my god, we did it. We got you out. Like, you're here. It's real. <sighs> that was so cute. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Um, please consider looking in the description if you're interested in finding me in other places on the interwebs. Because I also have a gaming channel and I also stream on Twitch occasionally. And a VOD channel for all of my Twitch streams. I'm playing Persona 3 Reload at the moment. So if anyone's interested in that kind of thing check out the description down below and yeah i'll see you all in another episode um take care of yourselves stay hydrated take your meds and all that funky jazz and i'll see you in episode three of the apothecary diaries bye everyone <laughs>